Hi, Phil from Masterpiece Arms. I'm going to show you a couple little tricks today to make cleaning your rifle using the Masterpiece Arms Matrix, Matrix Pro, ESR, or BA Comp a little bit easier. Let me show you how this works. So one question we get asked a lot is how do I clean the barrel of my rifle uh, with the cheek riser in place on a Matrix or a Matrix Pro or do I have to be able to purchase a side folder for the BA Comp or the ESR? Uh, the challenge is, is that this cheek riser will get in the way of the cleaning rod as it goes through the center of the barrel. So the other option would be, is in this case right here, you've got the thumb wheel, and you basically will unscrew the thumb wheel, pull the cheek riser off, and then re-engage the threads on the center piece to screw the uh, cheek riser back down into position. It's kind of a time-consuming process. So let me show you what I do here. Uh, this is a method that I use for all my competition rifles, uh, and I find it to be a really quick and easy method of getting the cheek riser off for cleaning and putting it back into place when it's time to, uh, to shoot the rifle again without having to change this elevation uh, location here of the cheek riser. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the cheek riser assembly out of the butt stock. Okay. So... I've removed the cheek riser assembly, put it down right here. I'm going to take the thumb wheel out, and the little ball and spring is going to come out here, right? So I'm going to take the little 1 8 diameter ball, I'm going to take the, cheek, the uh, thumb wheel, put it right down here. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to take these shaft collars, which we sell on our website. And it's a, it's a very simple shaft collar. Um, I'm going to take a 332nd hex key. I'm going to loosen up the set screw to be able to get these things to go onto the guide rod. All right. Once I've got it onto the guide rod, I'm going to put it in an approximate position that I think is appropriate for where I want the cheek riser. And I'm going to turn it outward, just like this right here. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'm going to put it in basically the same position. Let me loosen that thing up. I'm going to tighten down the set screw holding the shaft collar in place. I'm going to replace it back into the buttstock. So there you go. So let's just say that is the position that I like. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the 564 hex key and I'm going to tighten down onto the two set screws that hold the guide rods and tighten them down in place. Okay. And then basically, now it's set in position, and it's not coming loose. Now, when it's time to remove the cheek riser to be able to clean the rifle, what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to loosen up these set screws. The two of them that, that align with the guide rods, I'm going to loosen them up and pull this thing out, full access to the bore of the rifle. And when it's time to put it back in place, Slide it back in, tighten the set screws, and I'm good to go. Now, in order to adjust the cheek riser where you want it, so let's just say I put the shaft collars in the position they are right now. And they look like they're pretty evenly uh, located so that when you push this thing down, uh, both shaft collars are in contact with the surface on the buttstock. Right, if I want to change it, well, all I'm going to do is very simple. Let's say I want the cheek riser to go a little bit lower. I'm going to loosen this thing up. The set screw in the shaft collar, and I'm going to move the shaft collar further up, which is going to allow the cheek riser to go deeper into the buttstock body. Just like that. And then again, when it's time to shoot it, I'm going to tighten up those two set screws right there, and I'm good to go. So this is a, you know, people will ask all the time, why not do a side folder in the Matrix or the Matrix Pro? And the reason being is they find it difficult to be able to get the cheek riser assembly off and back on. This method right here makes it super quick and easy. Uh, it locates the same position every time. And it's just as simple as it can get. 
So these shaft collars, I think they're about 10 bucks, 10 or $15 on our website. Uh, they're available now. Uh, you can actually go down to your local hardware store and pick them up. It's a uh, 5 16 shaft collar. You can get them at McMaster Car or you can buy them from us. But again, thank you for watching.